Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain Base64 encoding and why it's important to you as a DevOps engineer. So the reason that we use Base64 encoding is actually quite interesting, and it mostly comes down to transferring data over the internet. When you use protocols like HTTP or email protocols, a lot of the time this data gets encoded. The problem with encoding data is special characters and binary data has the chance to get lost or garbled within that encoding scheme. To resolve this, we use Base64, which is a binary to text encoding scheme. It basically takes the binary data and then converts them to a Base64 plain text string. You can then take this Base64 plain text string, send it over your transport protocol, and then when it reaches its destination, that string can be decoded using the same Base64 encoding scheme, and this makes it so no characters or data is lost in the transport. So to see what this actually looks like, let's hop into the shell and I'm sure it will explain any questions that you have. All right, so the best way to learn Base64 is just to play around with it. Echo, hello world here, and you can see that it returns hello world. Now there's a built-in Base64 tool with Linux. So now I'm gonna echo hello world, but I'm gonna send it to our Base64 encoder. And you can see that the data is now encoded. Now to decode this data, I could type it again to base64 and I think it's dash dash decode and you can see hello world. So this command saying hello world, base64 encoding it, and then base64 decoding it. So to explain that, this is your data, you would encode it in base64, then you would send it over HTTP or whatever your transport protocol is, and on the other side they would use base64 to decode the data. And this data will always decode the same, so if I go echo and then uh, send it to base64 dash dash decode, it'll come back with hello world. Now if I send an invalid string, which you can see there, you can see, oh yeah, it didn't recognize that, it didn't decode properly. But where base64 really comes in handy is handling special characters, so if we take our hello world, and uh, let's add some special characters in here, like percent sign, exclamation point, and then let's send it to base64. You can see that it encodes it, and if I echo this out, you can see that it comes back the same. So that's it. That's the basics of base64. It's nothing to be scared of. I know the first time I saw it and had to work with it, I had no idea why they were making me convert the data to base64. And basically, it was just to get rid of the special characters, so when the data got transferred, those special characters wouldn't get lost, and the other side could just base64 decode it. Now, if you work a lot with uh, building APIs, especially RESTful APIs, you're probably going to run into base64 a lot, so I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you don't have access to a Linux command line to run the Base64 command, there's plenty of tools online that you can just Google that does Base64 conversion for you. So you can just input a string on those websites and it will Base64 encode or decode it. So I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted it to be a quick video to explain the basics of Base64. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.